your reality versus the regular person's reality. Mm. From that point when you was 15 and you decided to pick up that mic mm. and your reality could have been going straight with everybody else, but that thing went that way. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What has that been like for Princess in that whole journey? Mm. And do you what? feel like you ever got a chance to experience a regular reality being that y'all blew up so damn young? Mm -mm. We didn't because we were in high school um, when we started. So... Yeah. I remember house parties and stuff. We had that, but going to college, I wanted to go to college with my friends. Uh, um, being in a dorm, yeah, I was ready to give all of that up to have a roommate in a dorm. Mm. <laughs> like, I just want a little bit of refrigerator and like share. <laughs> and I heard you share a bathroom with like ten other people. And you gotta wear flip flops. I want to do that. <laughs> but um. I don't know. I think everything happens for a reason, of course. Looking back at it, I feel like me and my brother definitely were meant to do something in the arts. Yeah. I was supposed to go to the Cab School of Arts in middle school, so yeah. there was something there. We just had to figure out what it was, and the first channel or medium came music. But mm -hmm. that's not to say that for the rest of my life, I'm going to be knucking and bucking and ready <laughs> to fight. Because for 20 years now, my I have God. been saying that verse. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. But I've grown, and yeah. my fans have grown. That's so. True. I want to talk about getting money, losing money, what happens when you, what in the interim, um, being a mother, wanting to be a wife, what comes with that, what's the sacrifices, what do you have to change? All what of that. did being a mama change, and how did that Ooh. impact you when the baby touched down? You I were, thought, um, I thought my hustle was strong when I when I didn't have a son. Yeah, because I would book the show drive to the show, pick up the money, get the hotel room, do the show CD, perform, most times for me and Diamond's parts, Yeah. drive back all in like 10 hours. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, to the yeah. point where my parents were like, please stop doing this. <laughs> you cannot live like this. I went to Turkey one time by myself. Okay, hold up, hold <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't talk about getting a turkey in Kroger. Mm -mm. You talking about overseas turkey? Overseas, Istanbul. <laughs> Istanbul. Why are you going all the way over there to turkey by your damn self? Man. And what was that experience like? I'm telling you, it's like a little Tupac in me somewhere. Yeah. Like, shout out to Dollar Bill, my um, Germany uh, and plug. Europe plug. Yeah. He hit me on a Tuesday and was like, hey, uh, Flo Rida can't make his show. Mm-hmm. Can you make the show? I'm thinking, all right, it's Germany. I go over there all the time. It's like going to Alabama to me. Okay, yeah. cool. He was like, no, it's Turkey. It's about the same flight, mm -hmm. same hours for the flight. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just give me the money. We get there. I trust you. He's like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm not going to be there. My friend will be there. All right, all right. Yeah. It's a check. All right, cool, cool, yeah. cool. So I go to tell my parents. I'm like, hey, I got to go out of town tomorrow. They're like, all right. My dad drops me off at the airport, and he was like, you going international? Yeah, yeah, I told you I was going to Turkey. He, it still didn't done on him. Mm -hmm. It was Turkey. I land in Turkey. This is before Skype, before um, Zoom and all of that. Yeah. He was like, call me when you land. I land. I didn't call. By the time I video called him, he was like, Vanilla Lewis, have you seen Taken? Do you know? I thought you said Tennessee. You didn't say Turkey. Bruh, you dropped me off at the international terminal. Like, That's what? real, though. He was like, no, I wasn't thinking you said Turkey. I'm thinking you said Tennessee. Do you know they can kidnap you and use you as a sex slave? I was like, bruh, I got to go to sound check. I'm going to call you back in a minute. <laughs> Went to sound check. Uh, ate at this beautiful little street car. And it was a bridge that you could see. Your, your, um, you could see Asia across the pond or whatever. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so that was cool. crazy. And the bridge lit up at night. It was so beautiful. Um, the club was all white. They gave you robes and like these little house slippers, and everybody just had on. I mean, you had on clothes, then you had the robe on. Yeah. In the, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so I did my little hour performance and then went back to the hotel, got my stuff, showered, and I was back on the flight. Yeah. So I was in the air for longer than I was in Turkey. Crazy. My dad picks me up the next day. So that was Tuesday. Wednesday, I flew out. Thursday was the show. And then Friday morning, I'm back in Atlanta. Yeah. My dad picks me up. You are not going to your house. You are going to sit in this chair and you are going to watch Taken. And you are going to watch it until you understand the severity of what. You are not a male, Vanita. You are a female. Needless to say, after I gave birth, yeah. I saw Taken too. I called my dad. Why did you let me go to Turkey? <laughs> do you know what they do to people in Turkey? I am a mother. Oh my God. Why was I doing all of this? I used to go to, um, I would do the show and go right back on the road, three o'clock in the morning. Whew. My God. I used to get it. I remember uh, Pastor Choi used to always, because we used to always do shows and stuff together. He yeah. was like, oh, you, you going to the hotel? Nah, bro, I'm gone. Bro, it's five hours, and I'll be back in four. <sighs> and he's like, P, please, please. And now that I'm a mom, I'm like, oh, I'm going to just chill in the yeah. hotel. Get some rest. Get some rest. <laughs> Man, it's been so many times. We done got pulled over late at night, yeah. 3 o'clock in the morning, because you just on the road. Yeah. So now I just chill, you know, and I see my baby in the morning. Come on now. <laughs>